If you guys would like to go ahead and purchase a cheap and instant GTA 5 modded account for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, then make sure you guys do check the link in the description of this video. It's your boy, I'm Robert Z1, and today, GTA Online, GTA 5 glitches video, I will show you how to get the glitched, ripped half hat after the new update. Okay, let's get right into the video. The first thing you need to do is start a CEO organization, then go to Securo Serve, CEO, Management Style, and pick the outfit, the villain. Now go online, go to Jobs, Play Jobs, Rockstar Created, Survivals, and pick the Maze Bank Survival. Once the job starts up, hold down select, go to style, illuminating clothing, and hit right on the d-pad for about 20 seconds, then pull up your phone and quit the job. Once you load online, wait a couple of seconds, then hold down select, go to Securo serve, CEO management style, and select outfits to none. You should have the villain outfit. Now go to any clothing store, go to tops, and pick any t-shirt. You should have the ripped, glitched half hat. You can make some sick modded looking outfits using this glitch. If you enjoy glitches like this, click on my GTA Outfit Clothing Glitches playlist. If you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? Follow me on Google+. I upload all the awesome showcase glitches, tips, and tricks. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you guys do want to know how you can actually obtain the rare Muddy Dunce cap within GTA 5 online sessions after the latest patch of 1.39, just watch this video because I'll be showing you guys how you can do that after the most recent patches of 1.39. Yes. After this glitch, all you will need to go ahead and do is you are going to go ahead and get yourself into a bad sports session. So guys, you can go ahead and do this by destroying vehicles in a GTA 5 online session. Or you can get your friend to buy a bunch of Faggios and you can destroy them and you will only have to pay about $70 each time you just go ahead and bring out the vehicle and you destroy it. So guys you will actually have to destroy about 30 vehicles before it does actually put you into a bad sports session. But anyway guys, once you're in a bad sports session, you will know this when you do actually go ahead and destroy the last vehicle and it will come up in the bottom left of your screen saying that you have been put into a GTA 5 online bad sports session. But guys, once you've done this, just make sure you do not destroy any more vehicles as the time will extend. But anyway guys, once you do get the message, you will notice that a dunce cap does go onto your character's head. If it does do this, you are going to make sure you are still in the session with your friends that aren't in bad sport. So guys, once you are actually in the session, you are going to do the transfer of the hat glitch. And you are going to transfer it over to any other outfit, which isn't the one that you already have on. So guys, once you have done this, you are going to come into any clothes store. And you are going to save this as an outfit. Now guys, all you will need to do from here is just wait until you do actually go ahead and leave bad sport. And you will still have the dunce cap after the latest patch of 1.39 but anyway guys i hope you did go on to enjoy today's video if you did don't forget to smash that like button as i just show your support towards the channel and also if you are new around here don't forget to subscribe but this has been Zyver HD, and i'm signing off peace Yo, so what is going on guys? My name is Vortex and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm showing you guys how you can get any of these coloured joggers that you ever wanted in GTA after all the latest patches of 1.39. Now by doing this glitch, you can get the beige joggers, white joggers, blue joggers, red, white, grey, black, just any colour that you ever wanted, you can get them with this glitch. So if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, a like down below would be highly appreciated as it shows your support towards the channel and it shows that you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe if you have not already for more videos just like this one as I upload daily GTA 5 online videos. But with all that said there guys, let's hop straight into today's video.
Alright then guys, so to start this glitch off, you want to come to any clothes store on the map on your male character. You want to go to the top section and you want to go to t-shirts. Now when you guys are in t-shirts, you just simply want to equip this black t-shirt. Once you've done that, you just want to head over to the pants section and you want to go to shorts. Now like I said at the start, if you do this glitch, you'll be able to get all of the colours that you ever wanted. Now just put on these red heart boxer shorts and save that as an outfit. Just with the black t-shirt and the shorts. Now once you've saved that as an outfit, just go to shorts again and put on these purple striped boxer shorts. And also save that as an outfit. You don't need to change anything, you just need to change the shorts. Now once you've put on those shorts and you've saved that as an outfit, you want to put on the tan striped boxer shorts and save that in another outfit slot once again. Now once you've saved that as an outfit, just go to the black leopard boxer shorts and you want to save that as an outfit as well. Now once you've saved that as an outfit, go to shorts again, boxer shorts and you want to put on the black heart boxer shorts. So basically what you have to do guys, just go to the short section like I said, go to boxer shorts and just buy and equip all of the boxer shorts and save them all as separate outfits. Now these are the only things that give you coloured joggers, so just buy all of them, save them as all separate outfits, now you are ready to do the transfer glitch. So what you want to do is press on your pause button on your controller, go to online and go to swap character. Now at this screen guys you want to select your female character. Now when you go spawning on your female character, just to make sure, make sure all your female character outfits are full. It doesn't matter what they're full with, just make sure they're full with something. Now, like I said, what you want to do is you want to hold down on your D-pad and you want to go to Franklin in story mode. Now when you guys spawn in on Franklin, what you want to do, you want to press your pause menu and go to the Rockstar Editor. Now inside the Rockstar Editor, all you have to do is you want to go into the Director Mode. At this screen boys, what you want to do is go to Actors and go to Online Characters and you want to select GTA Online 2, which should be your female character. If that is your male, then just make sure you select your female character. Spawned in, you just want to stand there for a couple of seconds and then hold down on your D-pad and return to the trailer. Now at this screen guys, when you see GTA Online 1 and 2 pop up, your character selection, you just want to press your PlayStation button, press down on the D-pad on the GTA application and go to activities. Now you need to find something that allows you to get back online once you've clicked it, so found a bounty, purchased a new vehicle, something that in involves online. Now you just want to select start GTA Online and press circle to back out of this error message. You want to go to special characters and select Jesse. Now all you want to do is you want to hold your interaction menu and press up on the d-pad five times and then click x and press up on the d-pad one more time and click x again and as you guys can see you are now walking about in director mode it is all a glitched out lobby so what you want to do now once you've been in there for a couple of seconds you want to press your pause button go to online and select join friends you want to press your playstation button as soon as you've clicked join friends and you want to go to where we just was a minute ago you want to go to activities and you want to find something that allows you to get online like i said just find something that says claimed a bounty or or purchasing a new vehicle, anything like that, and you just want to select Start GTA Online. Now you guys are going to be waiting for a while now. As long as it says Director Mode at the top right still, it means it's working. It will disappear and come back, but like I said, as long as it says Director Mode, it's telling you that this glitch is working. Now all you have to do is wait to load into a GTA session. Now when you guys spawn into another session, you want to press your pause button, go to Online, and go to Swap Character. And now guys, at this screen, what you want to do is select your male character. Now, as I said guys, this loading screen can take between two to three minutes. As long as it says director mode at the top right, you haven't got to worry about anything. You shouldn't have any problems from now on. But what you want to do is you want to wait until you get an alert message. Now, 
as you guys can see, I got this alert message. It should say timed out locating session, which means it's worked. So what you want to do now is you want to press X on that alert message and keep on loading and it's going to put you into story mode. Now, when you guys do spawn into story mode, you just want to walk about for a couple of seconds and then close down your application just like I am. Once you've closed down the application guys, all you have to do is start it back up and as soon as you see this image of the girl doing the peace sign disappear, you want to hold L1 and R1 on your controller. Now if you guys don't do this, you won't be able to get online without doing this anyway, because it's kind of like glitched out the game. Every single time you try to go online without doing this, it's going to say that it failed to get your save data from the cloud servers. So just make sure you hold L1 and R1 all the way through the loading screen as soon as you see that girl disappear. Now from holding L1 and R1, you're going to get this display calibration screen, which is kind of like resetting the game if that makes sense. It doesn't reset your character or anything, it just allows you to get online and do the glitch. So just select X on the application, just select X on that pop-up and load into story mode. Now when you guys do spawn into story mode, you want to press your options button on your controller, go to online and go into any online session. Now once you've pressed join online, you're going to get this pop up about the Rockstar Games policies. You want to tick the box and click submit. Now all you want to do is load into a session. Alright then guys, so as you can see, I spawned in in a session on my female character and you just want to scroll through your outfits and now you guys will see that you have all the joggers in the game including white, grey, blue and red. Now you usually shouldn't be able to get these but this is a, like, a glitch to allow you to get anything that is modded. Now with these joggers guys, you'll be able to create some insane modded outfits. I always knew these joggers were in the game because obviously they are in the game because you could be able to mod them beforehand and now you can make some insane modded outfits but that's going to do it from me. But that's going to do it from me guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like down below would be highly appreciated as it shows your support towards the channel and it showed that you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this one as I upload daily GTA 5 online videos. But until next time guys, peace.